Hello, I'm Grace Renner, the CEO of P31 Projects Limited, a modeling agency. An ex beauty queen, an ex model, and the convener of Meet the Models. Okay, so P31 Projects Limited is a modeling agency, and P stands for Proverb 31. Okay, so um, it was coined from the Bible, the Proverb 31 woman represents virtue and value. So, majorly look out for young people who understand that they have a purpose in life and you know are making steps daily to bring about that purpose um our target market really um both locally and internationally now we understand that the modeling industry in nigeria um thrives more in tv commercials unlike you know where the fashion capitals like milan you know um, new york and um, paris but in nigeria here we try to pick models that fit into you know the local market the television commercial markets we also focus as well on the, because we are internationally affiliated but we also pick models that you know can work for the international system for high fashion modeling so that's basically so we have market for nigeria and market for you know international modeling so that's basically what we do okay so in terms of challenges um having been a model for a long time you know, deciding to become an agent was something that I did because I wanted to prefer solution, you know, in my own little way. Now, the challenges I've really faced is the money. In Nigeria, modeling is not particularly lucrative. So as an agent, you get whatever percentage of what the model makes, you know. So that is one major issue, the money that models get as, you know, salary um, for jobs that they do. And then lack of professionalism. And this doesn't just have to do with agents alone, um, the stakeholders and the model. There's a strong level of lack of professionalism in the industry. Um, also, um, the way models are treated in Nigeria, there's really no respect for models in Nigeria. You know, and uh, this, uh, these three things I've listed are just a few of a lot of things that models go through, agents go through, you know, as a result of how the industry is. So, and then I also discovered that there's no regulatory body, there's no structure, there's no organization that really, really, you know, caters to, should I say the needs or, you know, the, there's really no regulatory body that you can run to and say, okay, this is what the, this, what the issues are, and, you know, let's see how we can come together and solve it, you know. So, but by myself, sometime in 2015, I haven't gone through all these um, challenges. I realized that I could do something and then I started um, a project called Meet the Models. We started as a TV show first. Now, the idea behind it was to see how we could celebrate models, see how we could make models more recognized in the industry. You know, so I would invite models over, do photo shoots, do interviews with them, just to make them feel, you know, and understand that they are important. You know, and then um, setting up my agency, I started to treat my models the way I wanted, you know, other agencies to treat their models and the way I wanted us to be treated by um, the stakeholders, you know. So it made my models to understand that there is, there are more than just models. They are, they started to see themselves differently and carry themselves differently. You know, those are one of the solutions of, I mean, I've mentioned two already, two solutions, you know, I prefer. Um, what again? Uh, and yes, um, since there's no regulatory body by myself, I have like a WhatsApp group. We meet once a month or once in two months when I have time. I sit down with the models, ask them questions, you know, ask them how we could, how, what and what we could do to, you know, help the situation of the modeling industry, you know, I, just to encourage them, see how they could talk to me and I could, you know, talk to them as well, see how by ourselves in our little way we would make change in the modeling industry. So that is what I've done, and so far it's working. Okay, in terms of success stories, now um, I'll limit it to two, two major events in my life. Number one, I'll say winning in Seco 2012 and you know, launching Meet the Models Project. And let me give a little explanation on Seco. I started modeling in 2008, and you know, it was something I had so much passion for. You know, I was really excited about it, I was putting a lot of work into it. And at some point, say 2012, I started to feel very, I, I started to feel like I've done so much and I was giving up already. And then all of a sudden, God, you know, crowned me as Miss Eko, you know. But there were two things I actually learned. Number one, you know, when you're about giving up, 
if, if there's just one more thing that God wants to use, you know, to not only to spice or spike up your interest again, but to take it to another level. And then um, my really music for me was the grace of God. But what I always advise young girls that are going for this competition, as fierce as the competition is, always practice love, really. Um, on camp then, I remember I used to make care for my friends. I used to be, try to be friends with everybody. I used to try not to sit down and have unnecessary conversations that would demean somebody else. You know, and these are small, small things that I really like because the competition is really, really fierce and then it starts to breed bad behavior, you know. So from Mr. Koilo, I learned, you know, love really works. And then I learned that the grace of God is really important. And then I also learned that even when you feel like giving up, just hold on, you know, there might just be one more thing that God wants to use to take you to another level. And then launching um, Meet the Models. Now, I've always had a dream of being, um, a TV presenter. I always say, oh, when I'm grown, I'm going to be a TV presenter. I'm going to even own my TV station. I want to do this and do that, you know. And just following that dream alone, you know, made me prepare. I went to NIG, journalism school. I went to FRCM just to brush up myself and learn more about presenting. And, you know, when I started to see that the industry was in need of help, the body industry, I realized that I could do my TV presenting and still, you know, put together um, something I could do for the modeling industry. So almost like bring solutions to the modeling industry and then do my presenting. I realized that, that was a purpose that God was leading me to, you know. So just pursuing my dreams, I started meet the models as a TV show, and then it has evolved. I've met with people that have helped me. I've grown from just being, you know, a TV presenter to owning. Um, a fashion show, um, producing a complete TV reality show, you know. So for me, it's these two success stories have taught me to hold on, to keep pushing, to keep following my dreams. And I'm sure people have learned from that as well. What attracts our models to our agency? Now, before I even started, to, um, do, have, before I decided to have a modeling agency, I used to get calls from people randomly. I used to see models out there, um, aspiring models, um, mothers, friends, I'll say, oh, my daughter is a model, or she'd like to be a model, we like you, we like my daughter to be like you, or, you know, just seeing the results I have gotten as a model, you know, have made people attracted to our agency. It was even because of this, you know, constant, oh, I want to be a model, please, can you help me, or oh, I want my daughter to be like you, that made me even think about, you know, owning a model agency, you know, so... Number one, the results I have gotten have attracted these models to me. And then number two, we are internationally affiliated. You know, when people see that, oh, okay, their dreams should not just die or they can move it to another level, go international, they want to be associated with me. So knowing that we have um, agencies abroad that we work with, they want to be a part of what we do. And then um, also because of our level of professionalism, we're not there yet, but it's we have made ourselves stand out. If we're preaching that, okay, we want the industry to be better, we're making sure that we are the first, um, well, the, the, you can see it first in us, that this is how we are, this is what we stand for, you know, and then um, before we now, you know, as we're preaching it, we're showing it. So the models are really seeing that these ones stand for value, they stand for virtue, they stand for professionalism, you know, and I mean, that is where there's really longevity where you handle your um, agency with professionalism. A lot of brands want to work with you for a long time, you know, because they know that when they call you, they know what you deliver, you know, and that is what we've held on to since we started. And, you know, it's been attracting the right people and the models as well. So. so talking about our niche in the modeling industry, now over the years, models have been treated like hangers, like just meals for a commercial, but, um, we have come to realize that there's so much potential in every model, uh, you know, and we are coming from the angle of you are much more feeding them with the right words, or you are much more making them explore, you know, other options in, in the entertainment industry, you know, not just seeing themselves as just model. Because for me, modeling is a platform. It's a transient career. It's, you know, very short term. You can't base your life on modeling. It's not sustainable, especially here in Nigeria, you know. So... We're coming from the angle of 
you are much more, you're not just a muse or a hanger for, you know, display. You are much more, you know, and exposing these models to some form of empowerment, making them understand that, you know, they can be more than just hangers, you know, and this kind of empowerment makes them realize that, you know, um, we are the right agency for them to be, you know, because um, I have not really seen any model in Nigeria focus in Nigeria and say, oh, okay, I am a supermodel. You see it abroad because, okay, their fashion capitals, modeling is really their thing. But here in Nigeria, if you really want to excel, you know, both as a model and beyond, you have to look at um, other things that you can do in the entertainment industry, maybe acting or presenting or whatever it is that you feel, but not just modeling. So we coming from the angle of you are much more has made these models, you know, begin to see us differently and to key into what we're doing. And also agencies that, um, brands that we work with as well, you know, they've come to realize that, okay, okay, you can provide us with actors, you can do this, you can do that. So that is really what is helping us, you know, in the industry, it's working. Us. Okay, so where do I see my company in five years' time? Well, definitely a lot bigger, greater. You know, I see us having a lot of models that are not just models that would have, you know, evolved into, or should I say, would have embraced their purpose more, embraced their potentials more, and become more. You know, I'm really excited about the results, the ripple effect of what we're doing. So I see myself not saying so much, but my models doing more and then encouraging other models to key into our vision. You know, so in five years time, of course, more international affiliation, you know, more brands would have keyed into us. Um, I see us being among the top two big modern agencies in Nigeria, if not the top one. <laughs> um, of course, I see Meet the Models um, TV show being really big worldwide. And we're making, um, steps daily, efforts daily towards making that dream a reality. Yeah, so in five years time, bigger us, yeah. Okay, so our plans for 2020. Already we have shown, which we're changing to meet the models Excel, you know, and that's because um, a lot has changed within a year. Uh, by the grace of God, we have um, our first official title sponsor, you know, for a project we started with little or no money, thank God. <laughs> and then, um, so that is already in progress. It's on the way. Um, then we also are launching a clothing line. You know, so I'm currently um, learning fashion. So I'll be launching my clothing line, hopefully before June for my birthday. And then um, um, we are looking to embrace social media more this year. So with my models, just to promote them, I'll be shooting some short, short skits, maybe one more minute or shorter than that to put on social media, just fashion montage, something that, you know, we can upload daily or weekly or something just to draw more attention, you know, to us as a brand and to our models as well. Yeah, because social media is where everything is happening these days, you know, so we're trying to embrace it more in 2020. So that's pretty much um, what we have written down. Some other ones might come, but open to more opportunities, you know, so. That's basically it. And then, yeah, modeling jobs. We have um, been able to link up with some brands, you know, so because, of course, modeling agency is basically about modeling jobs, you know, so we'll be getting a lot of modeling jobs. It has even started already, you know, we're starting the year plenty. So, yeah, thank God. Okay, so I would like to give, you know, special thanks to these brands that have given me a platform to model for them and, you know, give me the confidence who I am today. Um, Coca-Cola, um, mm, Lost Dry Gin, Cleanless Tonic Wine, Glow, MTN, Excel, It's a Salad, Jumia, um, Nature's Gentle Touch, Care Times, Sweet Cosmetics, and then some designers that I've worked with that have given me the opportunity to you know, wear the outfits or my models to work on their shows. Um, Maya Tapo, Ouch, um, um, Zizikado, into Embassy. Um, I can't remember all of them right now, but I'm really grateful for the opportunity, you know, to be 
really a part of your mission and a really part of mine. So thank you so much. Importantly, I'd like to thank Platform Media International from Canada to Lagos for granting me this wonderful interview. And I hope to work with you in the future, definitely. Thank you. Thank you.